All right, so this is my review of Anna, and um, I came across the trailer for this uh, uh, on YouTube just randomly. It's one of those, and um, when I first saw it, I was like, it kind of looks like a ripoff of um, of Red Sparrow, um, and... Um, Theron, I think, I forgot her name, Theron, um, uh, it's that one that's the female John Wick, pretty much, um, I can't remember what the name of it is, um, but, honestly, I was going into this not knowing what to think of it, I was looking for something action-wise, um, you know, I, I just watched two movies before that, that, you know, it just weren't that good, and, um, th this movie was definitely a, uh, um, it, it definitely got a lot of, uh, pretty much story-wise and whatnot of, uh, Red Sparrow, and honestly, I didn't like Red Sparrow, but this was definitely a, a great movie, and, um, if you have not heard of Anna, um, go watch the trailer for it, and, uh, see what you think, and, um, de definitely a lot of action in it, um, well, not a lot, lot, compared to other movies I've seen, but there's definitely a lot of suspense and action, and, but the, the big thing about this movie is the plot twist, there's, like, plot twist after plot twist after plot twist, you think some, you know something's going on, and then it just all of a sudden only blindsides you with something new, um, Definitely a a a good movie, you know, a great movie. Uh, definitely not what I was expecting, and um, it rolls around the KGB and the CIA in the eighties and then the nineties, and. Um, I've never seen this actress before, but she definitely did a good job. And um, I'll do more research on her and um, some of the actors in there. I did notice that the head of the CIA, or one of the uh, main agents of the CIA, is from um, the first Dark Knight movie. Uh, and he was a scarecrow doctor. And um, he, he did a. a Okay, job. I'm not really a fan of his acting that much, so, um, but, you know, in the end, it was, had a great ending. I won't say what it is, and, uh, yeah, I, I would give this four out of five stars for sure, and uh, I would highly recommend it, uh, and, um, So I've been trying to put out a, uh, a review this week and haven't had much luck with movies that are worth of a review. Um, yes, I will be doing, if there is a bad movie, I'll do a review. But if it's something that's so bad, in my opinion, I'm not going to do a review on it. I have to be able to feel to do it because there's a lot of stuff that goes into making these videos. And um, I can only do one, in a, one a day. And... Um, that's if I'm not tired. And, um, you know, I hope you appreciate, uh, you know, the work I put in. Because that, that means a lot. Uh, if you could uh, comment down below. Give me a comment of uh, anything, you know. Uh, maybe a suggestion of a movie I should watch. And um, I'll let you know if I want to watch it. Or if I've already seen it. Um, I don't do certain horror movies or slasher movies, but, um, it depends on what it is, and I'll let you know, and, um, I definitely don't do romance movies. Uh, if it has a little romance in it, but it's like, a, a, a comedy or it's an action and has it mixed in, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely watch it, depending on what it is, and, um. Yeah, I mean, please like the video, dislike the video, either way, it helps me, and please subscribe if you have not to. And, um, 
Have a good day, everyone. Elmo out.